Welcome to Filipino Idol Cooking Time. Kung bago lang sa channel, huwag kalimutang subscribe and hit the bell para laging update sa aking video. Welcome to Bread and Pastry Production. Shout out to my students, Agoho, Santol, Alibangbang, and Akasha of Louis Y. Ferrer Jr. Senior High School. We are going to discuss about the types, kinds, and classifications of bakery products. Preparing bigger products requires no trick but adequate mastery of the process in baking. This video will provide you hands-on experience in baking. Bread is one of the most popular and best sold baked products, not only in our country, but in other countries as well. Many countries have bread as their staple foods. Baking has become not just a favorite pastime or hobby, but a highly profitable business. There are different kinds of bread. Whatever kind of bread is eaten, people remember it is quality. It is by maintaining the good quality that the popular bakeries or bread houses keep their customers. The quality of bread is affected by the type of ingredients. The manner of the dough is mixed of the prepared. And the temperature maintained during baking. We have here the kinds of dough in baking bread. We have the lean dough, rich dough, ruled and niche dough. Dough used in baking bread is classified. Lean dough or the base ingredients for bread which include flour, yeast, salt and a little sugar. A shortening make up the lean dough. These doughs made up pan de sang, pan de americano, French bread, and other crusty bread varieties. A lean dough is a dough low in fat and sugar. Hard crust bread and roll such as French and Italian bread and pizza crust. Other and white whole wheat bread and dinner rolls. These are the higher in fat and sugar and sometimes contain eggs and milk solids because they are richer and they have softer crust. Bread made of other grains like whey and pumpernickel. Many of these breads are produced with light and dark flours or with pumpernickels, flour, molasses, and a caraway seeds. Next, we have the rich dough. Aside from the base ingredients for bread, rich dough has butter, nuts, fruits, eggs, and condiments. Milk is often used too. Rich dough also use more sugar. This dough is used in making rolls, coffee cakes, and sweet and bread varieties. There is no exact dividing line between rich and a lean dough, but generally, rich dough are those that contains higher level of fat, sugar, and eggs. Non-sweet bread including the, the rich dinner roll and brioche. These have a higher fat content but the sugar is low. Brioche though is made with a high portion of butter and eggs and a special rich. 
sweet rolls including coffee cakes, cinnamon rolls, and many other breakfast goodies. These have the high fat content and usually contain eggs and often have a sweet filling. Next, we have the rule and yeast dough. Rule in dough are those in which fat is incorporated into the dough. It's a many layers using a rolling folding procedures. The alternate layers of fat and a dough gives the baked product and a flaky textures. Non-sweet rule in dough is the example is the croissant. The sweet roll in dough, we have the danish. We have here some methods of mixing dough. Straight dough method, modified straight dough method, and sponge dough method. We have here the straight method. This method combines all the ingredients together at one time to make the dough. The dough is kneaded and set aside to rise. Bread products can be also prepared using butter instead of dough. Preparation of this type of bread is faster since there's no dough to knead and shake. However, the textures of the finished product is not fine as that on the kneaded dough. Next, we have the straight dough method. It is also called a direct dough method. All ingredients are mixed together at one time. After kneading, the dough is set aside to rise. Straight dough is a single mix process of making bread. The dough is made from the fresh ingredients and they are all placed together and combined in a one kneaded and mixing session. After mixing, a black fermentation rests of about one hour or longer occurs before division. Straight dough method involves just one step mixing. All the ingredients such as flour, sugar, yeast, dried fire, and water brew are first put into the mixing bowl and mixed in a low speed. And then the wet ingredients such as water, ice, and eggs are added. We have here the modified straight dough method. The modified straight dough method breaks the straight dough method into steps. The steps allow for our, a more even distribution of sugar and fats throughout the dough. This modification is commonly used when preparing which dough. Number one, dissolve the yeast in part of the water. Combine the fat, sugar, salt, milk, solids and flavoring. Mix well but do not whip. Add eggs one at a time as they are absorbed into the mixture. Add the rest of the liquid and mix briefly. Add the flour and dissolve the yeast. Mix until a smooth dough forms. We have here the sponge and dough method. This method mixes part of the liquid, flour, and all the yeast to make soft mixtures which is set aside to rise until bubbly. Then the remaining are added and the mixture is treated as straight dough. For the sponge dough method, two mixing stage part ingredients are mixed and allowed to bubble. 
The remaining ingredients are added to the sponge and mixed into the sifter, then undergoes to the process of kneading, rolling, and molding. Sponge and dough method is two-step break, making process. In the first step, the sponge made and allowed to ferment for a period of time. And the second step, the sponge added for the final dough ingredients creating the formula. In the first stage, a certain amount of flour around 50% to 70% of the total dough flour, water, and yeast are mixed and fermented for a period of time, or it can be 2 to 5 hours to produce sponge. In the second stage, the sponge is added to the other remaining ingredients to form a final dough. The final dough can be processed by a rapidly processing method, immediately seize and shape, or sometimes it's given a short period of bulk fermentation time. Here are the advantage and disadvantage of straight dough method and sponge dough method. The advantage of a straight dough method, the process is short. Good quality bread with a fine structure. Easy planning. Less space required. Less bone needed. The disadvantage of the straight dough method, labor extensive, skilled baker needed, intermediate prover required. Temperature and humidity controls and provers. Less tolerance. Here are the advantage of sponge dough method. More tolerance during processing. A weaker, cheaper flour can be used. Less yeast and required. Long sponge fermentation and short processing time. Fermentation of bowls are very easy, a well-developed gluten, a good taste. We have here the disadvantage of sponge dough method. More bowls for a sponge are necessary, more space needed for storage, difficult planning. We have here some bread troubleshooting guides. We have here the holes in bread, possible costs, old dough and proper mixing, lack of moisture and proofer, improper molding, mold the rolls and poor conditions, humidity too high and proofer, proofer temperature is too high. Possible causes, we have the hollow bottom, overmixing, moistures in bottom of pans, use of a hot pans, proper humidity too high, underscaling, lack of volume, the possible causes, insufficient yeast, old dough, insufficient intermediate proof, underproofing, improper mixing, Oven too hot. Too much volume. We have here the overproofing. Cool oven. Improper molding. Overscaling. Crust too thick. The possible causes. Cool oven. Lack of moisture and proofer. Over baking. Underscaling. We have the molder rejects, possible causes, improper molding, old dough, sticky dough, dough to stiff, dirty molder, improper feeding of molder. Possible causes, 
cool oven, lack of moisture and proper, over baking, under scaling, possible causes for excess shredding or cupping, dough too stiff, young dough, underproof, improper planning. We have also the poorly shaped look, improper molding, improper panning, rough handling, overscaling, or overproofing, flat top, sharp corners, overmixing, very soft dough, proof humidity, too high, and young dough. We have also here the low birds. On the side, over mixing, improper molding, and their proofing, oven too hot, crust, crust too dark, oven too hot, over baking, and too much sugar, crust too pale, all dough, cool oven under baking. We have also the bread caves in, under baking, pans too close together, pans squeeze too heavily. Irregular slices, under baking, bread too warm for slicing, A slice of bread, dull guide not step properly. We have also here the moldy bread. Bread rub too hot, product contact with unsanitary equipment, contaminate dropper, rock tools contaminated with molds, bread exposed to dust. We have also the blister of rust, young dough, improper mixing, proper humidity too high. Rough handling at in oven, improper molding, very soft dough. Here are the characteristics of a well made bread. Bread of a high quality is characterized by the following 1. It is a large for its weight, well rounded top, and free from cracks and bulges. 2. The crust is thin with an even golden brown color. It has fine and even green elongated cells and thin cells while making the crumb smooth, soft, elastic, and creamy white with a silken skin. It doesn't crumble easily. 5. It has a sweet and nutty odor, not sour. Do you still remember? Answer the following. What are the three kinds of dough? For number two, what are the three methods of mixing dough? Here's our the answer. The kinds of dough we have the lean dough, rich dough, crude and yeast dough. Here are the three methods of mixing dough. Straight dough method, modified straight dough method, and sponge dough method. So that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching Filipino Icor Queen Thai. Huwag kalimutan mo subscribe sa aking channel and hit the bell. Maraming salamat!